This week, Big4.com brings you news about the appointment of Ernst & Young's America's Life Sciences sector leader. PricewaterhouseCoopers study that retailers should focus on customer experience to drive growth. Deloitte's report that FSA bans legacy commission under RDR. PricewaterhouseCoopers analysis on UK manufacturers competing for top MX award. Ernst & Young's focus on corruption risk to business party from third party partners and Accenture's finding that workers willing to improve skills but need employer support. Each week, Big4.com covers key news, events, happenings, opinions, and blogs relating to all the Big4 accounting and consulting firms. You can view this video on our website and on Big4.com's channel on YouTube. So let's start with this week's roundup of the top news. Kim Ramco has been named as America's Life Sciences Sector Leader for Advisory Services for Ernst & Young LLP. Ms. Ramco's responsibilities will include overseeing and coordinating business relationships and delivery of services for Ernst & Young LLP's advisory life sciences clients. Her team will be focused on providing services to help clients manage risk, transform business performance, and sustain improvement across the life sciences value chain. With more than 20 years experience, she is a recognized leader in service development and the management of complex information technology projects for the healthcare industry. The experiences of over 6,000 U.S. consumers across 11 industries indicate product knowledge and recommendations accounted for almost one-third of positive shopping experiences. This information comes from a new PricewaterhouseCoopers study measuring the experiences of over 6,000 U.S. consumers across 11 industries. Other findings include the fact that only 1% of shoppers cited rewards programs alone as influencing their purchasing decisions. The study from PricewaterhouseCoopers U.S. titled Experience Radar 2011 Retail Insights is based on PricewaterhouseCoopers Experience Radar methodology and aimed at helping retailers identify what's most important to consumers. The new rules issued by the Financial Services Authority FSA, will increase the costs and complexity of delivering retail distribution review platforms for providers. This according to Gavin Norwood, RDR partner at Deloitte. He said the decision by the FSA to ban legacy commission on advised top-ups and increments commencing in 2013 will make it clear to consumers there will be no commission bias when deciding to top up an existing investment or start a new one. As a result, advised sales will have to be identified on administration systems and the commission processing systems turned off or bypassed. And here are the latest jobs from the Big Four Job Board. See the site for more details. Manufacturers in the UK are competing to win one of PricewaterhouseCoopers Manufacturing Excellence Awards. Eligible companies were invited to submit business cases outlining what improvements they made in the last three years in areas such as business development and change management, customer focus, financial management, and innovation in products and processes. Judges will score the finalists across each category. A new award for this year, 2011, is the PricewaterhouseCoopers Most Improved Company Award. The overall winner of one of the nation's most prestigious manufacturing awards will be announced on November 23, 2011 in London. Following the introduction of the UK Bribery Act, companies must do more to ensure they have adequate procedures to prevent corruption among third-party risks, including outsourced business. This warning comes from Ernst & Young, which has launched a major due diligence background checks service on behalf of companies seeking to engage external business partners. The firm estimates that global companies with hundreds of third-party partners now conduct around 10,000 and 20,000 background checks every year, with demand rising due to compliance requirements. Findings from a recent study of employed and unemployed workers in the U.S. conducted by Accenture indicate more than two-thirds, or 68 percent, believe it is primarily their responsibility, rather than their employers, to update their job skills. 
The Accenture Skills Gap study found 55% of workers report they are under pressure to develop additional skills to be successful in their current and future jobs. But only 21% say they have actually acquired these skills through company-provided formal training during the past five years. This has been Melissa with your Big Four Weekly News. I'll see you next time.